Breakfast Church. My name is Simon. I'm one of the hosts of Big Breakfast Church. And I'm Mara, and I am the other host of Big Breakfast Church. <laughs> Bit tricky. No, this is tricky. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you may be wondering why we have party hats and um, blowers and balloons and all these decorations. Well, it is our first birthday. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! That was three, not one, but never mind. Um, yeah, so it's our first birthday. So welcome, we are here to have a party um, and celebrate that first birthday, as well as exploring another one of the stories um, that Jesus told. So that's what we're gonna be doing a bit later. We are indeed. Yeah. Anything else we need to tell them? No, I think we'll just crack on with yeah, the first Yeah, let's song, crack on we? the party. Uh, no, we need to light the candle okay. first. Oh, it's only been a year and we're still not sure, not sure what, we're what we're doing. doing. So you, yeah, and light the candle. Right. I'm going to light the candle. Oh, that reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. Yeah. It is lit. And then I'm also going to light the birthday cake candle. Right. Because happy birthday to Big Breakfast, Big Breakfast Church. Church. Very exciting. And let's say grace. For food and drink and fellowship, God's holy name be praised. Amen. Amen. So now it's time for our song. So stand up and join in with the actions and sing as loud as you can and get into the party spirit and we'll see you in a minute. I'm 
got soup on You say Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that song. We're now going to play a party game. Mm -hmm. um, today's theme, not only we're having our birthday party, but we're also going to explore the story of Jesus's parable of the great banquet. Um, we thought we would try and play a party game. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to play categories, but there are so many other party games that you could do at home. Um, we were struggling to come up with ones that we could do just the two of us. Um, that makes it quite difficult. But if you've got more than two, you could do all sorts of other games, musical statues, pass, pass the, the parcel, parcel, the donut game, the chocolate game, and um, if you don't know what they You're are. just naming your favourite um, foods. Well, yeah, I like donuts and I like chocolate, so that proper party food, that. So anyway, we're going to play categories, and we have six um, themes that we are going to be trying to find things for. So it's cake, song, Present, clothing, food and decoration. And they will come up on the screen uh, for you. And we're going to start with our first letter. So those of you who may not have played categories before or know it by a different name, you have these categories and you get given a letter and you have to write something down that begins with that letter for each category in a set amount of time. Yes. Then at the end, you... Um, cross-reference with whoever else you are playing with and if you've got the same answer you don't get a point you only get a point for a one on its own unique answer yeah very good mm. okay so um i need to just set my timer as well as how, how long are we have in 30 seconds or 45 should let's, we have 45 yeah let's go for 45 uh, seconds so that I'm not having to sit and look at it and okay so random um, letter is being chosen um, and the letter is play along at home yes play along at home E okay okay do well on that one. Um, I got two out of those six. And I've written three. Okay, so what did you get for cake? I didn't. I got Eccles cake. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it's a little bit dubious, dubious but it's a cake. I'm have and a point so I'm going to have yeah. a point. It's the only one I might get. Um, song. I didn't get a song. I didn't get a song either. I wonder if you got a song. E. Uh, present. An Asher Payne picture. Okay, you can have a point for that because I got nothing. Okay. And clothing? No. No, I didn't get anything either. Um, food? Egg sandwich. <laughs> I put egg sandwich as well. We don't get a point for that. No, no points. And decoration? Eastern lanterns. Oh, okay, you can have that. Thanks. Not very good for the environment, but we'll allow it. Well, no, I mean like the, the ones that you put in the garden. Oh, uh, well, okay, rather than yeah. So you got two, I did. and I got one on that round. So we'll have one more game. Okay, lots. And same categories, and we choose a different letter. What has the wheel chosen? 
D. D. Okay, and the time starts now. So, cake. A Dundee cake. Oh, I've got donut. Does that count? Everyone says I love donuts. Uh, song. Daisy, Daisy, I've got D I S C O. Oh, good. Disco, call. yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> present. Mine's a bit dubious. Snooker key. Anything can be a present, surely. Yeah, but how does that begin with a D? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I changed to S, so the rest of mine are all wrong. <laughs> oh, this is girl badly. Never mind. <laughs> um, okay, well you carry on then. Think you're going to win this? That's a beautiful mistake to have made. Um, right. It, um, I don't know why I've suddenly gone to S. It's because well, I looked you... at song um, and, I wrote, and I wrote S O. And so I was just a oh, snooker cue. Yeah. What can you think of a present beginning with a D? Um, In three seconds. No, don't worry about it. So I put docs, some Doc Martins. Ah, uh, nice. Being okay. Immense, very expensive. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, can you think of clothing beginning with D? Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> I put dungarees. Dungarees. Now, I'm aware that they might not be your traditional party clothes, but I do love my dungarees. Yes, you are a fan. Mm. And. Um, uh, uh, food. What did you put down? I'm not. What did I say? Sausage. Sausage on a stick. <laughs> it would have been a double S word as well, so that would have been great if S had been the letter. What a mistake to have made. Uh, go on, what did you put? Donut. Donut. And did you get one for decoration? I did not. No, I didn't, no. but it would have gone with S anyway, if I'd have done it, just so. <laughs> um, <laughs> what an error of my ways. Anyway, I think that's enough for that game. I don't think we need to do any more. Um, also, needless to say, I think I won. I think you won, yeah, I don't think we need Even, to worry yeah. about that. Um, we now have our story of the great banquet, and then I'm going to bring some a short reflection to you. So see you in a minute. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the great banquet. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went to eat at the house of a Pharisee. He said to the Pharisee who was hosting the meal, When you give a dinner, do not invite your friends, your family, or your rich neighbors, for they will invite you back, and that will be your only reward. But invite the poor and those who have trouble seeing and walking. Then God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. When a man at the table heard what Jesus said, Ahem. he said to Jesus, What a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied with a story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. Already! When the banquet was ready, he sent his servant to tell the guests, Come, the banquet is ready. Ah! Okay. 
but they all began making excuses. One said, I have just bought a field and must inspect it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please excuse me. Another said, I just got married, so I can't come. The servant returned and told his master what they had said. What? No way. His master was furious and said, go quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and invite the poor. And those who have trouble seeing and walking, After the servant had done this, he reported, there is still room for more. Great, all right. So his master said, go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. For none of those I first invited will get even the smallest taste of my banquet. Have you ever had an invite to a party uh, but you've given an excuse because you don't really want to go? Or perhaps um, you found out that there was a party um, that you weren't invited to and you find out afterwards that it had been a really really good time but you've missed out on the occasion. And I guess in that situation you probably feel quite upset uh, by the fact that you've not been invited. Or I wonder if you've ever had the experience of where you've thrown a party and yet loads of people have uh, come back to you and said they don't want to come or they're not available and how you felt at that point. Those three scenarios are all scenarios that we hear about in today's story of the great banquet. And we, at the beginning of the story, uh, if you remember that Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and it's a message to uh, the Pharisees and the people of Israel um, and a lesson that Jesus is trying to um, show them and to tell them. In the great banquet story we hear about the host. Now the host in the story, uh, in the parable, is God and the great banquet is the kingdom of heaven and the opportunity to be part of that great banquet in the kingdom of God. And then you have um, the first people who are invited, uh, but they're the ones that make the excuses, and they are the people of Israel, the Pharisees, if you like, who have decided that they've got their own plans, they've got things that they want to do that are far more important than being part of the great banquet. They have put their own things in place to stop them from connecting with God in that way. And so what God does, the host, he decides to open the banquet up to anyone else who would like to come. And in the story, um, the servant is sent out and is told to invite anyone and everyone to come and be part of the banquet. And even at the point where the servant thinks that he has brought lots of people through. There is still more room for more people. And the story is telling us that um, at the beginning, uh, God wanted a relationship with the people of God, uh, people of Israel, but they turned their back. They gave excuses for not being part of that kingdom. And so God opened the door to all people, that any person through across the world could come and be part of the great banquet. And so we have the opportunity to accept that invitation and to be part of that party, that great banquet, and have that um, invitation to have a relationship and, with God and be part of his kingdom. And that's what the story is about today. And it's a story that we can celebrate because actually we are all able to have and accept that invitation to be part of the kingdom of God, to be there. Um, not only now, but also 
in the future to be part of God's kingdom. And when we think of heaven, we think of a place where, if you like, there is a big banquet going on that we can all have access to. And that's what we receive because of Jesus dying on the cross for us and then rising again three days later. So our message today is a simple one as we celebrate our first birthday at Big Breakfast Church. We want to celebrate the fact that we can all have a relationship with God and each one of us is invited to the table of the great banquet. But God also wants as many people to join him as possible. So I wonder if there are others who we can think of that we could invite who might wish to also join us and be with God at that great banquet. Perhaps you can be thinking about that um, and also reflect upon your own um, attendance at that banquet. Amen. Thank you, Simon. You're welcome. So now, as every week, it's time for our Holy Spirit time. So we're going to just take a few moments just to rest in God's presence, be open to him working in our lives and just welcoming him to be with us. So if you, um, if you want to, you don't have to, put your hands out. Come Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And then it's time for our prayers for today. It is. So they will be framed around Simon's talk and the story of the banquet. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you give each and every one of us the opportunity to come to you, Lord. Thank you that we are all invited to be in your kingdom, Lord. I pray that you will help each one of us to hear that call, Lord, and to respond to you and to know that you are our Father who loves us, Lord. And in the same way, as we know your love, help us to know the right people to invite to come and meet with you, Lord. Point out to us the people that are in need of your love and your presence in their lives and help us to show your love to them. In your holy name, Amen. Amen. That's Mara. We've now got our final song. So, again, opportunity to stand up, to dance and to party away and we'll see you after this.
talking in. French, Spanish, Greek, to Mandarin. Solo hay un creador. So clap your hands and say, shout out and worship him. So clap your hands and say, and let the praise be given. Oh, wow. Upon the earth you made oh, wow, oh, wow. You died and now we can be saved oh, wow, oh, wow. You rose and left an empty grave oh, wow, oh, wow. And one day you're coming back So, we hope you enjoyed that song. Unfortunately, we're coming to the end of Big Breakfast Church for today. We are. As ever, there will be activities to do afterwards. You can download the activity menu off the website and have a look on that and see what sort of things you can think about. Throw your own little party, play some party games, bake a cake. Yeah. And think about the fact that, obviously, we're all called to be part of God's kingdom. And we will be back with you in two weeks' time. Yeah. Um, now it's time for our blessings, Simon. Okay. So as we come to the end of our party, uh, let's pray. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of us and all those we love in the coming days. Amen. Amen. There we go. We are at the end of this time. It's Big Breakfast Church. One year old. We so, hope you have enjoyed celebrating with us as much as we have enjoyed wearing party hats and celebrating. Yes. It's always good to have a party. Um, we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks, but until then, have a good couple of weeks. Take care, bye. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!